this video is my personal opinion, so feel free to express your own in the comment section below. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Checking with Tonton episode 2 of this season. So following the Toy World Optimus, or uh, should I say the Toy World Tactic Waistcoat, this is the M09 Wei Jiang Optimus, the same version of Optimus from the same movie. And here's the category I'm gonna base on to judge if this guy is worth it or not. So I'm gonna judge this figure through 10 aspects, judging from 1 to 10, and then the sum will be X slash 100. So about the vehicle mode, I'm gonna judge it by the scale and the color. In the robot mode, is the how I transform it the difficulties and the movie accuracy of transformation. And on the looks of the robot, of course, we still have the scale, the colors, because it is different from the vehicle mode. And then we have the scale of the materials. So like, is it fully plastic or it got some die cast? And then the joint accessories. And then finally, the price at the time of this video is being filmed. So now let's begin. Judging with the vehicle mode, I must say that Wei Jiang did a fantastic job of recapturing the scaling and the looks of a truck. I must say of that. As you can see, the truck bed underneath here is really clean. It, it is short and compact, and you even got this detail over here, which is to hook the trailer in, which is really impressive in my opinion. And the only downside of this will be the thighs of the robot mode is still visible. This is kind of a shame because if I'm gonna bring in this Studio Series version, as you can see, you not even seeing any robot parts over here and this is the official one and this is supposed to be the masterpiece scale so judging on the truck form I might give this one you know like 8 out of 10 or something like that because I enjoy the details the truck bed looks fantastic with especially this piece of here I this is why I give him a high mark I love the smokestack and that is a 8, eight on 10 but then about the Pen apps and the color to me it is quite of the contrast because here's the thing you got some really nice really nice weathering underneath here you got some scratch on the edges you got the rusty effects and you got all this nice little pen apps over here and judging from this angle it just looked beautiful but the problem is the front section is way too clean so it doesn't match I know that they have to compromise a little bit for the robot mode but in my opinion this is still a down a down point and I hope that when I come to the robot mode the pain that the pain point will be higher but judging from this angle alone and even look at the wheels the wheels are not even painted and which is kind of disappointing because you got some ni really nice dirt and rust effect here but this and this are way too clean so from this displays I think the pain apps only about 5 of 10 but now that is for the vehicle mode now let's get to robot mode so about the difficulty of the transformation, I would say that this guy deserves a 7 because there are some details that took directly from the MP10 but the problem is that with the MP10, the parts are actually smaller but here they upscaling it so it is quite frustrating to get through but then it is still nice to see that they managed to make it but then if you are the first time transforming this guy I would highly suggest that you carefully watch the reviews before you actually transform because that is some to some people that it might be a little bit tricky so that could be 7 out of 10 about the movie account and the transformation I would give this guy an 8 because that you can see which parts came from where and I appreciate the use of realistic the uh, real parts instead of fakes so that is without a doubt an 8, that should be enough for it. And about the scaling, the scaling is the biggest problem for me because this guy looks bad. The leg section looks nice but the upper body section looks terrible because of the how thick and square looking the torso is. And then you hardly see a waist over here so this guy kind of looks blocky and to be honest ugly so that is only a 4 to me. About the painting, the painting is one of the problems as well as you see at this thigh piece over here. I only transformed this guy like two or three times and then I already got paint trip and that is a really really bad experience for me especially when I enjoy Wei Jiang transformation and out of that let's come to the comparison of the material for this guy you have a lot of die cast section over the feet the thigh the right joint of the knee the whole chest is two big piece of die cast metal 
and you got some diecast on the shoulder as well. So with this variety of diecast metal section, I actually I enjoyed it, and I think that they done a great job at giving him this guy the good points of buying. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Oh, the joint joints are the biggest problem that we have to work on over here, because this guy does have terrible joint. The arms. Uh, only a butterfly joint with no ratchet joint. So in, as a result with kind of heavy weaponry It is too hard for him to hold up. So that is a terrible decision. So only 6 out of 10 Accessory why this guy only came up with a few accessories. First you got his iconic ion blaster And you got some parts for converting into the Cybertronian car mode, which I don't really care about You got an energy axe, which looks really cool with clear yellow plastic I wish this might be clear orange this is kind of look too pale to in my taste and then you got a gun stand which is compared to the truck's bed it also can move out to be a gun stand like this so with this little accessories this guy got like the essential primes pack so in my humble opinion that is okay for in my taste and other than that this is an 8 out of 10 because of the simplicity and the essential of this guy and the reason for this amount of accessories to get an 8 will be the price. So this guy is currently available somewhere around 19, 90 to like 120 bucks. Depends on where you buy him. So I think with that price for this figure, I think it's still worth it because considering the Toy World version is stupidly expensive at the moment. So that could be it. So combining all the amounts of points I got, I think we got a 6.8 out of 10 in total. So that is at the moment, so if, I would highly recommend this guy if you have a low on budget and you still want a Bubble Bee version Optimus. So that will be it for today guys. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more. Ta-ta now!